Lisa, Jack, thanks for joining us on the Player Diary in the uh, second training week in the Six Nations. You both made your debuts at Twickenham um, last weekend. Aside from the rugby, what was the one thing you take away from that as a, you know, as a memory? It was the crowd. I've, I've never experienced anything quite like that. Um, I've obviously played the Premiership final at Twickenham, um, which was a huge spectacle, but I've never heard such a passionate crowd in, in my life. Um, you know, as a back line, we were screaming at each other on the pitch. Remember? It was, um, yeah, it was, it was quite something. All the Huddersfield people, that's what it was, wasn't yeah, exactly. it? Yeah, exactly. All the Northern crowd just <laughs> standing out from all the rest. And a few from the Corn Cornwall as well? Yeah, I think I had a lot. Um, I think for me, personally, it was... population of five, you mean? <laughs> yeah, they're all up, man. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, for me, it was just the moment we got off the bus. And we, yeah, we had to walk into the stadium. Um, just the noise, as soon as, we all, as soon as those bus doors opened, it was, it was ridiculous. And then, yeah, from the moment of walking out onto the pitch and ending the anthem... Um, it was amazing. How many family members did you have there? How many people from New Lynn? You know, yeah, I had, I had all my family. I had my nan, my granddad, my mum and dad and stuff. Um, so they all came up and a few of my friends made the trip up as well. So went out for a bit of food with them after, so it was nice. nice really. You spoke quite emotionally about what it you know, meant to you to play at Twickenham before the game. Did you feel that afterwards as well, when you, when you saw your family? Yeah, definitely. Um, the whole thing was quite an emotional sort of spectacle. It was a proud moment through, just purely because of the journey that I've come on to, to get here. It's, um, it was quite something and it's obviously something that I'm going to cherish and, and take with me now for the rest of my life. I've got that in the bank and fingers crossed I'll have a few more. Training week this week, what are the objectives? Is only, you're a 15 man group now aren't you here at Penny Hill? Yeah we are, a few of the, few of the boys have, have gone back and obviously playing for their clubs and stuff this weekend. Um, but for us we had quite a tough session this morning, uh, we had a nice little gym circuit to, to get through. Um, but we're really using this week just to go forward and keep pushing on, we're not really using this week to, to sit back and relax. Um, We've uh, got a bit of time off for the weekend, so that's, that's our time to chill out and stuff. But um, no, we, we've got a nice session at Twickenham tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're really looking forward to this week. Training against Oxford Uni, aren't you, I think? Yeah. Do they go full throttle in those sort of opportunities against you guys? Yeah, I'd just like to say firstly that we had a tough session this morning. You was on the bike, so... <laughs> a what bike? Not just a normal bike, it was tough. So we, we had 50 Something stations. Tough, so. yeah. <laughs> um, but no, Oxford... Yeah, they'll they'll come hard. It's their opportunity to play against England, isn't it? So you know it doesn't come much bigger than that for them. So I'm pretty sure that they'll be firing and coming out of the block. So as will we. We don't want to be embarrassed. So <laughs> what are you can do this weekend? A bit of time off. What are you, what are you gonna get up to? I think uh, the plan for me is I've got a, a meal at uh, Exeter at the club before the London Irish game this weekend. So I'm quite looking forward to going back and seeing the boys and watching the boys play. Um, and then I'm going to head back down to Cornwall that night because then I've got another meal uh, down at the Cornish Pirates. Yeah, big but, time now. No, no, def <laughs> definitely not. Just, just, <laughs> <laughs> just going down and, and, and seeing everybody. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that, yeah. What about you, Luther? Bit of time away from the lads? There's so many Saints boys here. Do you need a bit of a break? Yeah, you know, I, I think I'll probably go back to the, to the game at the weekend. We've got a home game against Gloucester. Um, you know, the lads have got a bit of momentum. Um, I won't mind seeing young Steve who's playing in the midfield for us. Uh, he's playing very well. He's having a storm, yeah, yeah. So that's me gone. Back. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and get up north and see my friends and my family. Um, just try, you know, I don't think it's, we're going to get another break for, for the rest of the season now. So I'll try and just rest up. Do you need a bit of time away from Dylan Hartley? You know, no. Tom Wood, those people? No, not at all. Really I really want to see Yeah, I really <laughs> want to see them all the time. My mates. Going to go up north. <laughs> Let's go up north. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Cheers.